Good morning, folks. Top news today follows our earthquake alert. The watch was set by the coming planetary alignments and, more importantly, these dark coronal holes. First, we got the rumble in Pakistan, and yesterday, as the coronal holes faced Earth directly, boom, Indonesia rocks with a magnitude 7 earthquake right in the middle of the day. We will have more on this topic at video's end. The sun was relatively active in terms of eruptions the last day. Most of them came off of the limb, though, small to moderate in size, relevant eruptions for our sun, just none are heading in our direction. Both limbs getting in on the action, too. And then this morning, we finally get something in Earth's direction. Before we watch it take place, let's check out the sunspots. Two brand new groupings came out of nowhere as the planets began lining up, and the leader, the one we're going to show in a moment, is beta class on the verge of something more. We see a surface curve straddled by opposite polarity, which could be some fun as it develops. We're also closely watching the incomer on the north as its umbras are a bit bigger and could begin interacting magnetically at any point. Now that bright spot on the green sun image we just saw was from the first sunspot group. It involved a sea flare and was actually in progress as this video processed, so go check it out yourself with the links below to see the updates. There will be no need for concern with this one. As you may have guessed with the sunspots and eruptive activity, solar flaring is making a bit of a comeback today. The solar wind is doing the same with speed and density on the rise awaiting a sector boundary crossing. Electrons already hitting the floor in anticipation and will need to watch for magnetic instability to Earth's shield over the next 48 hours. Top article today details stellar formation way, way, way away from the galactic disk. Far enough that we didn't expect to find molecular clouds there, let alone star production. Not a bad read from the Astronomical Society there. Cyclones still churning in the Indian Ocean, strongest tropical system on the planet. Over in the United States, moisture coming up off the Gulf to meet blistering cold air in the States, feeding the snowstorms in the north as well. There is also a supplemental water flow off the Pacific. These combine for more snow, ice, and more records falling. In Europe, the primary convergence sticks around. Very, very strong. Secondary low, still spinning to the east. The clouds will reveal the convergence and eastern low without issue. Down under, we still see the convergences and lows around the Australian coastlines, but another low just south of Tasmania has its convergence ready to be a bit wicked for the area overnight. Hopefully the wind and rains aren't too much there. For those new enough to still be surprised at this coronal hole earthquake correlation, over at suspiciousobservers.org, the latest episode of Deeper Look is an introduction to that correlation and some of the characteristics of coronal holes that make them so darn proliferative of seismicity, 19 episodes down. Also, don't forget, it is Saturday, so we've got another full hour of the most relevant discussion coming to our Fly on the Wall podcast in a few hours. If you aren't a member yet, it is only $3 per month or $20 if you get a whole year. We greatly appreciate all your support. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.